Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies with HikingEmergencyBeacon.com, and I've done another battery test, one of the latest and last, of course, of this Garmin InReach Mini 2. And there were actually two tests here, and I'm gonna have a, the last test, which is not expedition mode. You cannot do expedition mode with the Mini 2. You can with the 66i and the 67i, but not the Mini 2. That's coming up, so there'll be one more test for you, but it's instead of the expedition mode, it's gonna be that low, low power mode, that is coming up. But I wanna to talk to you today about the two tests that I ran in the last two weeks. But before I get into all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Now what happened was I had put this in my truck and I didn't go out hiking either week uh, during the week and I had this mounted in my windshield and I have it on two minute logging interval, I have it on high detail and I had the screen about 50% brightness but it was on a one minute backlight timeout. The same thing for both tests. The first test though was in GPS mode the second test was in GNSS mode. Now I'm gonna have some screenshots up of both of these or the, the tracking to show you all the tracks I laid down. Basically when I was going to, from my office or from home to office, to the grocery store, town, et cetera, back home. And I did that all week long in both tests. So the first test, as you can see, you'll see these screenshots again of tracking all over the place and it, lasted five days, almost exactly five days, but then there was like 8% battery left. When you do the math on it, what happened is it was losing about 18% of the battery life per day. And when you extrapolate that, it would have lasted around five and a half days. Again, I wanna just reiterate, this is not an engineered, scientific, controlled environment test. This is me just turning it on with those settings I just told you about and using it all week. Again, not hiking, but as I'm driving to and from work and to town, it's in the windshield, it's tracking, and when I'm stationary, it doesn't track. But again, it lost about 18% of the battery per day, and it would have lasted roughly five and a half days. Now that was the first test with the GPS mode on. The second test was this week, it just ended last night, and it was with GNSS mode. And if you're not aware of what this is, it gives you more accuracy if you're getting these other satellites. And I believe they're European satellites, Russian satellites, so it's not just US satellites. That's why the GPS is, I think, US satellites. The GNSS includes other countries' satellites. So this week what happened, it was running down last night after four days, and I think I had about 14% of the battery left and I knew I wasn't gonna make it to today. So the test lasted about four days. The GPS mode test lasted about five days. But in GNSS mode, what would have happened and what did happen was I was losing around 21.5 to 22% of the battery per day. Now again, do the math on it, that would have lasted about four and a half days. Again, the only difference in these tests, because I, I used them the same during the day, the same settings, to and from work and all that, no hiking in those two weeks during the week at least while I was testing. And just to summarize, I was losing 18% of the battery per day in GPS mode, 22% of the battery per day in GNSS mode, the battery would have lasted about five and a half days in GPS mode and about four and a half days in the GNSS mode. Yeah, I had just really, I'm doing this test again because the first time I just set it up in the window all week and it wasn't moving, I wasn't tracking because when you're not moving, you don't track and it really wasn't a true test. So this test, as I was moving constantly all week and you know, I was driving to and from work, et cetera, um, it was a better test and you can see the results. Again, GPS mode would have lasted about five and a half days. GNSS mode would have lasted about four and a half days. Now I do wanna give you a quick tip here and this is where I'm gonna run into this next test, my last test. And again, you can't do expedition mode with the Garmin InReach Mini 2. 
but you can do low power mode. So you can change your backlight timeout to, I think, down to 15 seconds. I, I'm, I've already changed the settings for the expedition or ex low battery mode test. I've, I've already done it. I've already started the test. So I have instead of two minute log interval, I'm doing 10 minute log interval. I took my screen brightness down to the lowest setting, which was probably 10, 15 percent. And I changed my activity detail from high to standard. So those are some of the things. I'll tell you more about the test this next week or two whenever that test wraps up and I have enough information to tell you about how long the battery would last. But I hope you like these tests and it gives you a good feel of what the Mini 2 will do. I just want to say, and I'll have a information here on the screen, the GPS Map 67i test. And I'm specifically talking about the battery test on those. There's some great information on that. You'll, you'll enjoy seeing it and seeing how well the 67i does. It's in the playlist for the 67i, but it has about six or seven different battery tests in that playlist. If you have any questions at all, or you maybe want to see a test a little bit different or something different that I haven't done, let me know, ask questions, give advice, because I'm still learning and I want to help you guys learn too. And I really hope you appreciate this video and like the website and the YouTube channel. But please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you back out here in the next video.